Today is a historical day for this year. It's the first time I've been out in the garden because it's beautiful, clear sky. And so I'm kind of looking around, see what happened during the winter. Today is going to be pruning. So I'm going to aggressively prune our grapes because last year they were not pruned as well. So we are going to be cutting them back a lot more because that's what we read that they need. Also pruning our apple tree and our apple trees and seeing what else needs to be pruned. Maybe the blackberries and the raspberries. We'll see what we get done today. So yeah. That is what is on the agenda for today. Here are our grapes. As you can see, they're all over the place. So I'm going to be cutting them back to basically these big branches. These big branches I'm going to be keeping. And then we're going to run them along the fence. So then, then when they are growing, they can grow back um, and ha be stronger. I want to build an arbor from from this fence to the house. Gonna get gonna get uh, help on that to see how I can do that to stabilize against the house. But that is my plan for the grapes this year. So today it's pruning. The thing to remember when pruning raspberries or blackberries is there's two kind of shoots every year. One is the brand new shoot that's gonna come up. And then the next year, that brand new shoot, it turns into um, the shoot that produces the fruit. So <clears throat> when you're pruning, what you want is the, the, the shoots that had the fruit on last year. So if you look at this, you'll be able to tell which ones are alive and which ones are dead. So the alive ones, I, I, I pruned um, the tops of to the height I wanted it and it's actually good to prune them because um, it it um, it triggers new growth so but then you see down here is all the dead stuff and it kind of like rattles and it looks um, it's not as brown it's kind of like silver so that's the stuff you want to get rid of because it's going to get in your way it's going to get a um, it's going to pull up nutrients that the new shoots want and basically it's just going to get in your way so um if you ever if you ever want to know if a if a shoot is dead or alive what you do is you cut like a, the end and if you look at it it's brown so that means it's dead but these live shoots it's kind of hard to see with that camera but the live shoots are green so when you cut the tops off and they're green that means they're good you want to keep them so that the dead stuff you get all the way down to the base of the ground now with grapes as you can see from earlier I pruned it very basically to the big the big branches I cut off everything else and that really encourages new growth and in a couple months it's gonna be right back to um, a whole bunch of branches so those are just some tips on pruning. It's Liddy and Daddy. We just seen you this video as a shout out. Yeah, for Dress Perennial. Yeah, we see you out there doing your thing. Bye bye.